Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's talk about accent and highlight colors on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when you're in an app like in Pages here, there's an accent color and a highlight color. Notice here that when I have things selected like Document here in the sidebar or these checkboxes they've got this orange color. But also when I select text like this there's also this lighter shade of orange that is used to show the selection. The darker color here is known as the accent color and it's used in all sorts of different controls. You could see it here for instance. You could also see it when you go to Preferences in all sorts of different controls here. Now in Pages these are both a shade of orange. But if I switch over to Numbers you could see instead of orange there's green. And then in Keynote I get blue. Notice how these all match the same color used in the icon. You could see orange here in the Pages icon, green in the Numbers icon, and blue in the Keynote icon. So every app has its own default accent and highlight color. And if you don't change anything in System Preferences each app will use its own set of colors. However, if you go to System Preferences and then General you have settings here for accent color and highlight color. The first one for each one of these is this multicolored wheel here. And that's an indicator that each app should use its own default color for the accent color or for the highlight color. So when these are both set like this then every app has a different color. However, if I were to change these I could force all apps to use the same color. So for instance if I were to change to using purple notice accent color sets to purple and the highlight color automatically changes to have the matching color there. So the purple highlight color. I could still change the highlight color to whatever I want. So let's do that. Let's change the highlight color to yellow. Now when I go into Pages here you'll see the accent color is now purple and the highlight color is now yellow. And it's the same in Numbers. I get purple and yellow. And in Keynote as well. Purple and yellow. So by setting these to something besides that first item I can force all apps to use the accent color and highlight color that I want. Other apps use these as well. For instance if I go into Contacts here you can see Contacts uses a blue color for the accent and for the highlight. And if I go in Settings and change it to red and say green you can see now red and green are used. Now Reminders is an example of an app that uses color a lot. Every list has its own color. So you see the name of this list in blue because if I were to Control click on it here and Show List Info you could see I've selected blue as the color for this list. So that's going to override anything else. But notice here the accent color is shown when I select a list here and you could see it also when I go into Preferences. And then of course when I select text I see the highlight color. So in System Preferences if I change that to purple and red now I could see here purple in this selection here on the left and when I select some text you can see red is the highlight color. Calendar is another app that makes a lot of use of color. Every calendar here has its own color so this is set to green and this is set to purple. So most of the colors you're going to see are the calendar colors themselves. But you will see when you go into an event the highlight color like that and you will see in Preferences the accent color. And in addition to that this bright red here to indicate the current date in the main calendar and also in the mini calendar at the bottom left. And there's no way I could see to change that red. Notes uses yellow as its accent color. You can see it here when I select something in the sidebar or a note here and then you could see the highlight color right there. And if I go into System Preferences and change that to say green and purple then you could see now it will use green and purple. How about third party apps? Well if you go into an app like this you'll see there's not much color in it since it's a text editor but there is a highlight color and when you go to Preferences you can clearly see the accent color there. And it will obey the system changes here. So if I change to pink and yellow you can see now I get pink and yellow. Here in Pixelmator you can see that I can select some text and it does a blue highlight. You don't see much color here but if you switch to something else like maybe the text panel you could see the blue accent color. And if I go into System Preferences and change that to yellow and green now you could see 
yellow is the accent. But for whatever reason Pixelmator uses the accent color for highlighting text as well. So it doesn't seem to use the highlight color. But I will see here if I go to Preferences and then I go to something where I can actually select text you can see it's using green there. So the system oriented controls are using it correctly. But in this third party app actually selecting text in the graphic is going to use the accent color for some reason. So third party apps really have a lot of control over this. And if a third party app isn't obeying these settings there's really nothing you can do about it except maybe file a bug report. So hopefully that gives you a deep understanding of what accent color and highlight color are. There is no way to set it on a per app basis. Your only options are to set one or both of these to the first option so that the apps get to use their own default accent or highlight color or to customize the accent color and highlight color to what you want so that all apps use them. I know that way you can set the accent color to follow the defaults for each app. You can change the highlight color to something else so all apps follow that highlight color. But you can't do the opposite. You can't set the accent color to something and then tell the highlight color to follow what each app wants. Once you've set a accent color you have to set the highlight color to something. In the end this is all just a personal preference. Some people like the fact that each app has its own color scheme and others want to use a specific color scheme throughout all of their apps. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.